Well, we're going to start today's show with a look back at 2015. Even though we're halfway through the month of January, the year is just flying by. There's still some great things to remember from last year's Faith and Friends. Stories of inspiration, funny food segments, health wisdom from Dr. Trudy Pieper. As we've told you many times, you can rewatch the segments from our show online. And it turns out that one of our show segments has been viewed 6,070 times on the Internet. I think it's 6,071 now. What segment was the most popular? We'll tell you in a moment. Here's a look at our top 10. We love lists. that's high for number 10. Jennifer's interview with the Newsboys from their concert at Nice Swanger and Jennifer's story on Shine FM's third anniversary. Number nine, producer John Ondo completing his documentary on the Botkin School Project. At number eight, the Lipsick Ministerial Association hosting its first ever daddy-daughter date night, which featured Annie Lynch as the MC. Number seven, an interview about Light Winds documentary, a documentary that talks about the biblical definition of marriage, included quotes and notable nationwide individuals on the possible future of our nation. Matt Finkel's story on the West Side Wave, checked out at number six. The West Side Wave is one of the teams in the WOAL Summer Swim League. Number five, Deb Williams Nevergall talks about her new book, A Heart Never Forgets, inspired by the unfortunate death of her 19-year-old daughter. Number four, it's Christian singer Hannah Beck winning the Creation Sunshine Music Tournament and releasing her new album. Number three, Jackie Stewart adopted out of an orphanage in Guatemala talks about how an Operation Christmas Child shoebox impacted her life. And number two, local pastor Claytonia Manley Logan is honored with an award during the 2015 Martin Luther King Jr. Banquet and announces the release of her new album. And finally, in the number one spot, this video has been viewed nearly 6,072 times on Facebook. Nearly. Maybe maybe in nice, this moment. Nice, nice to see that you had the specific number <laughs> with the estimated nearly. Okay. Well, because it's so popular, <laughs> we thought we would share it with you again. And here it is, the number one most viewed 2015 Faith and Friends video, the first heavy metal Church of Christ. It sits on a street corner in Greenville, Ohio. It's not flashy but certainly it's not hidden. It's the first heavy metal church of Christ. Yes, you will find bikes here. You'll find chains, tattoos, and some leather, but that's not the focus. You'll find hearts, hearts that are mending, people finding freedom. What you'll find at the first heavy metal church of Christ in Greenville is the presence of God. Even though you don't know what's behind the door, you gotta open that door by faith, don't you? what happens when you do he's right there to meet you every time he's always there to meet you even when you can't see him you can't smell him you can't taste him you can't touch him but he's always there as soon as you crack that door open isn't he don't let the title heavy metal fool you because according to pastors Mark Bird and Michael Fisher, the meaning of this heavy metal is needed by everyone. The, the heavy metal comes from putting on the full armor of God and because we started out as a biker church, it kind of had the stigma of the metal, the bikes, the, the, the chrome, um, that kind of an image behind it when it first started out. But we've really developed into a come as you are um, church where anyone is welcome. You can have my dreams, take my will, give me yours. The gospel is preached and lives are challenged. Bird and fish aren't afraid to step out of the ordinary. This particular Sunday featured worship with Hannah Beck and testimonies from a St. Mary's police officer and a former Ku Klux Klan leader. Who comes here? We have... Um, anybody, people off the streets to um, judges and politicians will come through these doors. I, I see God working in the lives of people here because where they didn't have hope before, now they have hope because our hope really truly is founded in Christ. And that's the message. It's heard every Sunday at noon at a church that one by one is showing what Jesus meant when he said to love others. Really an incredible church. You know, I've been there several times. I've been to the Dayton campus several times as well. And it's just phenomenal to me, the hearts of the people who truly want to change their lives for Christ. Well, you know, I mean, you can go back to the Old Testament where 
you know, Saul was judged on his outward appearance, but God was looking at David's heart, and that's what he is looking for, the heart, what we can find inside it. The outside appearance doesn't necessarily matter. It's what the message is and what the heart is, and, and certainly a great heart for the, the heavy metal church. It's real life. You know, they live their lives. It's very uh, apparent that they are doing life together. That's what the church is all about. Absolutely. Well, the church that got the number one spot on our top ten list loves to help others in need. In fact, so does the Parkway Girls basketball team. 